what's good fam and welcome back to the channel jd here with yet another video for you guys the sneaker i'm going to be talking about in this video i've been looking forward to this for quite some time and i'm happy to say it did not disappoint i will be getting into the jordan 1 low og in the neutral gray colorway So what's good guys, I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I will be breaking down this ultra clean colorway of the Jordan 1 Low. I'll get into the quality of this sneaker and yeah, I'm impressed. I'm also gonna compare it to one of my favorite sneakers to release this year, the high top version of the same shoe. I'll be talking about the differences between these two shoes and telling you which one I think is just better overall. And of course, as always, I will be giving you that on feet look, so make sure you stick around until the end of this video. All right, let's get into it. Here it is, the Jordan 1 Low OG Neutral Gray. And if you're gonna cop one pair of sneakers this summer that you can just wear every day, a sneaker that goes with everything, has a bit of hype to it as well, there really isn't a better option than these right here. I wanna give a shout out to Soulbox. That's where I got my pair from. And they not only gave me this pair, they also gave me this dope excavation kit that was made just for this release. It came with a customized Soulbox hammer and a chisel, and also this rock, which I'm supposed to break into and inside I'm supposed to find like a Jordan 1 fossil of some kind. The homie Fabian from Hi Snobiety, who is also my podcast co-host by the way, the link is in the description if you haven't already heard my podcast. He already unboxed his soul box package just to give you guys of what's inside. I didn't do that to my pair just yet. I didn't want to make a mess in my house. I'll get to it at some point this weekend but major shout out to soul box for the hookup. So of course if you didn't know already the neutral gray colorway, one of the OG colorways of the Jordan 1, the high top version it retroed for the very first time this year this low top version has actually retroed before the most recent was 2015 i always wanted to cop that pair however the prices are just a bit out of my range so i was really happy to find out that these retroed not only does it have an og colorway it does also have that og cut You'll also notice the tongue is shorter on this pair compared to most of the GR Jordan ones that have those ridiculously long tongues, which I'm not a fan of. It's not a true OG, however, mainly because of the swoosh. It does not have that bigger OG swoosh like the 2015 version had, which is unfortunate. I really wanted to see that swoosh. Instead, we get this modern looking swoosh. Of course, it's a bit skinnier, I suppose. Not something that is a really big deal considering how expensive that 2015 version is right now. I'm not gonna be paying $600 just to get a different swoosh. But let's talk about definitely what I think is the best part about this shoe, and that is the quality of this leather. This is some buttery, buttery soft leather, guys. You could melt this shoe, put it on toast. It is super soft leather. Very surprised by how good the leather is. Wasn't expecting that on a Jordan 1 Low. This is the type of leather that you just know is gonna age really well. It's gonna look even better the more you wear it, which is what I plan to do a lot with this sneaker, just considering how wearable this is. This is one of those shoes you don't have to think about your outfit. You just throw them on and they look good with anything. The swoosh as well as the back panel of the shoe are actually done in suede, some pretty nice soft suede. That Wings logo at the back, it's done in a darker shade of gray and it is slightly shiny looking. Another really great thing about the shoe is how affordable they are right now looking at the resale prices. At least here in Europe, they're pretty much going for almost retail. Which when you think about how much use you're gonna get out of the shoe, this is a shoe you can wear for years. A lot of people will say, hey, it's just a boring white pair of Jordan 1s. Okay, I totally get that. However, if you think about how much you're actually gonna be wearing this shoe, it's also an OG colorway and the leather is just amazing. I think for this price right now, they are going for an absolute steal. I have said it before, we are right now in a buyer's market for sneakers. Not just these, a lot of recent releases have been selling for really low prices. Great time right now to go get the sneakers that you want. It's also a lot cheaper than the high top version, which is what I'm gonna get into right now. These are selling for nearly three to four times as much as the low top version right now. And these two are very different from each other besides the obvious difference of these being a high and a low. The leather used on these two sneakers couldn't be more different. On the high top version, the leather is extremely thick. In fact, it's probably the thickest leather I've seen on a Jordan 1. And because of that, the shoes do fit really tight. And I'm gonna be honest, I have been very disappointed with how this leather has broken in. The shoe has gotten slightly more comfortable, but overall, I still find them pretty much unwearable. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably noticed I pretty much just don't wear this shoe anymore. And that's because every time I wear these, I feel like my feet are gonna fall off. 
Meanwhile, the lows, both of these, by the way, I got them in my true size. The low top version, completely different. The leather is nice and soft. Fits me just like Jordan 1s are supposed to fit me, true to size. And this type of nice soft leather is gonna break in really well over time as well. This colorway, of course, is a summertime colorway and I just feel like the low top version, you can probably get a lot more use out of it. I've personally always felt like the low top Jordan 1s look a lot better with shorts than the high tops. Some people may disagree with me, but I've definitely been much more of a Lowe's guy in the summer. So I gotta keep it 100 with you guys. I will say overall, I prefer the Jordan 1 low in the neutral gray colorway over the highs. At least I can wear these every day and be comfortable. Also, these go for a much cheaper price right now. This isn't the first time I've chosen the lows over the highs. Even when it comes to the Travis Scott ones, I've always preferred the low top over the high top. I really do think the Jordan 1 low is one of the most underappreciated silhouettes among sneakerheads, mainly because they always want to compare it to the highs. But if you just consider this as a low top sneaker and compare it to other low tops out there, I really think this is a great model. So these sneakers do come with these neutral gray laces that you can throw on, but as soon as I got these shoes, I couldn't wait to throw on some beige laces. I really love how clean the shoe is and I really think these beige laces really add a lot to that vintage look. These are the beige low top laces. You can get them from my shop, Elevate Laces. The link is in the description. We do ship worldwide. I also threw these on on my high top neutral grays. This is definitely for me the colorway to go for when you rock these neutral grays. Make sure to get your pair Elevate Laces. Link is in the description. Let's wrap this thing up. The Jordan 1 Low Neutral Gray. Are these babies a cop or a drop? Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious if you've got into this point of the video, you can tell I really do like these sneakers. I'm gonna be getting a lot of use out of them. Great quality, great price. In my opinion, the Jordan 1 Low Neutral Gray OGs, these are a cop. If you haven't already done so, make sure you're following your boy on Instagram. The handle is right here. It is at JDKick6. Drop a lot of content on there as well. I would appreciate if you guys gave me a follow. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If you want to cop this sneaker, I will leave a StockX link in the description. And of course, don't forget Elevate Laces for all your lacing needs. I'm going to be throwing these on feet now. Thank you guys so much for messing with the channel and for watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.